We're live and getting ready for what should be another great NFL matchup. And we have two teams who are fighting for the divisional title. Yep, these Titans and Jaguars both have great teams, and they always seem to play for pretty high stakes. Both teams have taken the field, and let's see what happens now as we're ready for the kickoff. Number 15, in to kick this one off. To start the game. Number Sends it sailing. From the three-yard line. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. Holding on the receiving team, number 57. A team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. Well, John, we've looked forward to this all week long. One of the top running backs in the league against one of the most dominant defensive units. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. It's the old strength versus strength thing. This defense has a great front four and good team speed. This can be a heck of a game. Hamlet is there for the tackle at the 23-yard line. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Second, Second and, and one, one coming up. On the 23 yard. From the start, from the start. Hey, watch the screen. The Jaguars move, move. with a four-man front. Let's go. It's time, baby. I can do it, baby. Let's go, let's go. And up to the tailback. Holland is there Wait, on the stop. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. Gets the pass off. He was tipped. The defense dug in their cleats and held their ground on that series of down. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 33-yard line. Ball on their own 33. Start the drive at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Check it. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Let's go. On the call. Sud is there on the stop. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Watch each other back. The Titans with a four-man front. Hands off to the tailback. This one will be spotted at the 41-yard line. Now they got to keep going out. They can get that defense tired and on its heels. These games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Pickup of about five. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Spins away. Peppers comes up to make the play at the 43-yard line. He picked up the first on that carry. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Go make a play. Watch this. Not today. The echo. You can't stop me. To carry it, Jefferson is there for the tackle at the 44. He tried to pick his way through the middle, but there was no room. Yeah, he was looking for a hole or a gap, but the defensive line sealed everything up. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Goal. Comes up to make the play. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Third 
third, third and seven. seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Titans come out of the nickel pack. Setting up play action. Throws it. Not the way. In great the position pass. and great Can reaction made that play happen. The play. Griffin was there on the coverage. Johnson will come in now to punt it away. Number 19 lines up deep for the punt return. This one goes out of bounds. The ball on their own 15. Start the drive at the 15 yard line. First and ten. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. Crosses it left. Whitman drags the ball carrier down behind the line. This defense has some good speed. So when you try something to the outside and you fail to get those outside guys blocked, well, you're in trouble. Second and long coming up here. Number 59 is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Third and six. Ball on the 20 yard line. Jacksonville goes with a four man front. Closing in. Hit and. This team is extremely active on defense, whether it's flowing from sideline to sideline or when they're rushing the passer. Maybe they should keep a couple extra guys in the block just to slow this pass rush down. Sastadil comes into the game for the punt. Harmon sets up to run back the punt. So the punt goes out of bounds. First Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Stay at home. The Titans with a four-man front. Get it, get it, get it. Throws it. It's complete. Runs through the tackle. Vilma is there on the stop at the 23. The a powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with first an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. The Titans come out in a 4-3. They don't get nothing. He tucks it away. Harris is there for the tackle at the 24. Okay. And a flag down on that play. Number 65. Still first down. First It'll be long. first and long here long after the, the penalty backs them up. Going to the air on first down. Gets the pass off, and he hits his target. Lito Shepard hammers him at the 30. Watch this. He stands him up, and he puts him right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. They push to the inside, they rush to the outside, 
and they really do a good job applying pressure, forcing the quarterback to throw it before he wants to. Ball on the 35 yard line. Under pressure and sack. Great play to knife in there for the sack. Clearly, the offensive line is having a lot of trouble getting it together. You have to be able to protect your quarterback in that type of situation. It's going to take a little longer to find the open man or the hole in the zone. You've got to find a way to give him that extra time that he needs. He'll try to place this inside the 10. And he waves for the fair catch. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. Check it out, baby. With the pass. The pass falls incomplete. Lynch was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. I'll come through, baby. Get it up! The Jaguars come out in the quarter defense. Leave it off. Fumble. The Titans pick it up. They got that one back. Recovered by the offense. Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package with the pass almost intercepted. Number 19 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 22 had the coverage on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. On the goal, number 59 is there for the tackle at the 32. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Gain of about a yard. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. Dropping back, gets the pass off. Picked off, it's intercepted. Perfect timing as he goes up to grab the off-target throw. The coach is always talking about his contributions on defense. And you can see why when he makes plays like that. Let me tell you, he's a guy that you got to be careful of when you're trying to throw the ball into the area that he's covering. First After the defense gets the takeaway, the they're now set to go line. at the 32-yard line. Only one man back. They give it to the halfback. Vilma comes up to make the play at the 27. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and six coming up here. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Nelson is there First for the down. tackle at the 17. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First They're inside 10. the 20. Ball on the 17-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Watch your eyes. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. Rowing. This one falls incomplete. Abraham was his intended target. Second and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. You can't stop me. Go low. Go low. Irvin, the lone setback on the call. Jonathan Doma brought him down for his third tackle. The running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge 
And that's how he got by the first down mark. They need five yards for a touchdown. Albright back in the shotgun. Throws it. Nice adjustment. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The receiver ran a perfect route, and he turned around just in time to see the ball and make the catch. Number 15 comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. And capitalize on good field position, get it into the end zone. Yeah, you got to convert opportunities like that into touchdowns. And that time, they did it with authority. This one is taken by number 19. After one quarter of play, the score is 7 0. Jaguars. The team says what size, and we'll start the second quarter. The Titans will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Stay at home! The show time there. Jacksonville comes out in a 4 3. Handed off to the back. Whitman is there on the stop. Lynch, on the Lynch rumbles gain forward for a gain of four. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Hand it off. Whitman comes up to make the play at the 25. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go now. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Throwing. And he makes no, he can't haul it in. Bryant was there, but uncharacteristically dropped the ball. Sometimes I wonder if they're thinking about their next sports show highlight instead of worrying about catching the ball. Harmon will go back to accept this punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 36-yard line. The First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 36-yard line. First and ten. Yeah, you see. The Titans come out in a nickel pack. They'll bring the blitz. Deep throw. Nearly intercepted. In Close to a big play by the defense. Kings. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Yes, right, man. Set. Here go, baby. And he gets the delay handle. Nelson is there for the tackle at the 45. Urban running hard, going right through the arm tackles. Third and two. Ball on the 45-yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. Play football. Hand off to the tailback. Uses to go down. Vilma comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. First and 10. 
ball on the 49 yard line. Everything you got. Here we go. Man. The Titans line up in a 4 3. Watch With a counter play. This one will be spotted at the 41 yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. He's really getting it done out there. I talked to the offensive coordinator this week, and he told me that he was going to be an important part of this offensive game plan. Ball on the 41 yard line. Ball on the 41 yard line. You can't stop me. Danny, Danny, Danny. Closing in with the pass. Incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Third and inches. Ball on the 41 yard line. Under 10, 10. Let's go, keep going. Hand it off. Shepard comes up to make the play. They're putting together a nice drive here. And they're frustrating this defense in the process. Two times they've converted on third down. First Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. Irvin, the lone setback. Gets rid of it. He couldn't control it. The back was a good receiver out of the backfield. Could really give you that extra dimension on offense. You have to find a way to try and catch it when your hands are on it. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Will, Titans Will. come out in a 4-3. Uh, Pressure gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 36-yard line. From the start, from the start. Great right pass. The Titans come out in a dime package. Under pressure, he won't get away. That was a great defensive call. A lot of big plays are made with individual effort. You also got to give credit to this coordinator, because he's the one who puts his guys in position to make the plays. Johnson will do his best to get this one inside their five. Andy signals for the fair catch. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the six yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Keep moving. The Jaguars line up in a four three. Let's go, B. Let's go. Receives the handoff. Hamlin is there on the stop at with the 12 yard line. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Ball on their own 12. Ball on the 12 yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Deuce, deuce. The Jaguars with a four man front. They'll spot this one at the 17-yard line. So that tackle was his third. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. First and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Let's go, boys! Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. They're going to spot this one at the 20-yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. I know they didn't get much. But it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Second and seven. Ball on the 20 yard line. I'm coming through, baby. You gotta have it, dude. The Jaguars come out in a nickel pack. Looking for the long completion. He made the catch. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Tennessee. I tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him.
The extra point attempt is good. The Titans draw even. Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Harmon. The defense did a very good job against them the last time they had possession, forcing a punt. First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 18 yard line. First and ten. Back him up. The Titans with a four man front. Two in this direction. Jefferson is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. One yard gain on that play. Second and nine. Ball on the 20-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. All on us, y'all. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Looking to run it here. Pushes off. Shepard comes up to make the play at the 29-yard line. Irvin has shown why he's such a threat on the ground and gets closer to 100 yards rushing. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. What screen? Nothing. Say the Titans nothing. come out of a nickel back. Fakes the handoff. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Nelson belts him hard at the 36. Albright found his tight end for a good game. Yeah, and what happened was the play fake held the linebackers just enough to get a little separation from his cover. Once he was open, boom. The quarterback hit him with a pass. Yard line. Here we come. Here we go. Clear. Clear. The Titans Clear. line up in a 4-3. For the counter play. Nelson is there for the tackle at the 41. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom. The defender's left lying there in his back. Two-minute warning coming up. On the 41 yard line. Come on! Let's go, be good. The Titans come out of the nickel pack. They'll go with a play fake. Pump fakes. Sack. When you play man to man that well, it limits a quarterback's option on the play. And it'll result in a sack sometimes. So two minutes left before halftime. On the 36-yard line. Here we go. I'm coming through, baby. The defense Here lines up in the nickel. Albright with a man in motion. Let's go. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Jonathan Goma picks it off. I tell you, you don't get a whole lot easier than that. He was right there. The quarterback makes a bad throw, and he brings it in for an interception. First Following the interception, ball it's now first and ten. Line. One of us will make a play. Let's go, boys. The Jaguars come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Hampton comes up to make the play at the 31-yard line. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Fires this one deep. He's there for the catch. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee. They put up six points by beating the coverage. Well, the cover two works well because it eliminates options. But that time, the quarterback made a quick read and he got it off quickly. Crosby comes in to attempt the point after. 
The, the point after is good. good. So following that touchdown, the score is 14-7. Titans. This one is taken by Harmon. In the last series, they forced a bad pass and got the interception. Right. So they have first and ten here. First and ten. With the pass, this one will be spotted at the 25. It's three tackles so far for him today. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Rowing. Knocked down at the line. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Play two quarters, two quarters. Keep it up. Deuce, deuce. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Throws it. Broken up. Dishman was the intended receiver on that play. Goal with the coverage. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. From the 37 yard line. Number 19 is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. will start the drive at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Out of the shotgun. There we go. What's the hard count? Huh? Going to the air on first down. Going long. This one falls incomplete. Number 83 was the guy they were trying to throw to deep. Holland was there on the coverage. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles by going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. The blitz is on. The pass ball is incomplete. Ryan was his intended target. Ryan, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Jacksonville comes out in the quarter defense. They're coming with the blitz. Throws it. He went up there and he got it. Can't pull him down. Hamlin comes up to make the play. At the 20 yard line. This is one of those guys that you can't let get behind you. You have to give up some of those shorter completions underneath. Number 19 returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. They'll make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone in this drive. They're just inside the 20. Looking to run it here. But is there for the tackle at the 18. So a pickup of maybe three. Inside the red zone. Ball on the 18 yard line. They've had some big plays that have resulted in touchdowns, but this is their first time they've been inside the 20-yard line. Interception. Now, that was just a bad decision. Look at this. Two defenders right near the receiver. 
Now, there are a few guys who think they can squeeze the ball into double coverage, and he's one of them. That time he gambled, and he lost. So on first down, I don't think we'll be seeing them trying to throw. They'll probably just want to run out the clock. is there on the stop at the 10 yard line. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Gain of six on the play. Ball at their own 10. Ball on the 10 yard line. The Titans line up in a 4 3. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go. Watch each other back. Let's go, baby. When was us gonna make a play? Not today. Oh no, D! Let's go! Hold the look! Let's go now! Left, left! Hand it off. Harris comes up to make the play. At the 15. After that turnover, here's how both teams are doing in that department. First and this should be the last play of the half. The 15 yard line. Come on! It's on! Going into halftime, the, half, the score is 14 7. The Titans, 14. The Jaguars, 7. We're ready to begin the third quarter of the play. Crosby comes in to kick off. This one is handled by Harmon. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Split back this time. He'll pass on first down. The long pass over the middle. Ooh, nearly picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Paul Bright didn't exactly put on a passing clinic in that first half, and this graphic will spotlight his problem areas. Watch it. Number 30 is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. He's got everything you look for in a running back. Move, speed, power. I'll tell you, this guy is a complete package. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26-yard line. Get some slack going! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it started. This one is handed off. Goal tackles him, and they won't get the first. Jacksonville comes up short on third down again. Johnson is ready to pump this one away. Number 19 looks like he's ready for the return. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. The 50. Foot comes up to make the play at the 45. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking it right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Keep it up. Hurry! 
we go, baby. Rock and roll. No more, fella. Let's go. Will, Will, Will. Gets the delayed handle. Smith is there on the stop at the 37. They've done a pretty good job moving the ball on the ground. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Let's go now. Here we go. Jacksonville stays in its base defense, even though the offense comes out with five receivers. Good for the wide receiver. John has proven he's a consistent player. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Ball on the 28 yard line. Ball on the 28 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. You can't stop me. The Titans line up in trips bunch. All right, let's go. Driving back to pass on the first down with the throw. And he drops the pass. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. Second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Check it out, baby. Comes out in a 4-3. Justin Smith Lynch. stopped him for his third tackle so far. Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. To get the first down, they have to reach the 18-yard line. Watch your eyes. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. With the pass, it's going the other way. The 10, across the goal line for the score. The defense forces the turnover, gets it in for the touchdown. Number 15 comes in for the point after, which will knot it up. The extra point attempt is good. Now, if the quarterback is still rattled after that play, we'll find out on this first throw. The coach will probably go with something simple to get some of his confidence back. But one thing he can't be worried about is throwing that football. I think he'll come out firing to show us all that he's ready to make a play. Good distance. This one is fielded by number 19. The defense did a nice job the last time around forcing the interception. The first and ten. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Blue down, blue down. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Hands it off to the back. Smith is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. He's had pretty good success running the ball in this one. It's second down and three to go. On the 27-yard line. Jacksonville comes out in the dive back. Slips the tackle. Holland is there for the tackle at the 34. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I'll tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Let's go, beat you. Deucer, deucer. Yes, right, right. Gets the call. With comes up to make Jackson, the play. The, ball carry. the best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. 
You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Second and Gain of four. Ball on the 38 yard line. Hold the look. Jacksonville looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Fires this one deep. Drops the intercept. Number 19 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Holland had the coverage on the play. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Throw it. And he hits his card. This one will be spotted at the 46. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. That's why he's so dangerous. I'll tell you what. He's just a football player and a great ball handler. Anytime you get the ball in his hands, it can be big. Ball on the 46-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Hey, watch the screen. Lynch, the lone setback. Ford with a man in motion. Hand it off to the back and is there for the tackle. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ball on the 42-yard line. No, one, one, one. Yeah, you the see. Jaguars come out Let's in a nickel go, package. What's green? Play hard and fast, baby. Gets rid of it. Interception. He got way up there to make the pitch. I'll tell you, these interceptions are all about timing. And he timed that jump perfectly. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. All on us, y'all. The Titans line up at a 4-3. They're going to spot this one at the 36-yard line. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. So a pickup of maybe three. Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36-yard line. Watch your eyes. From the start, from the start. The Titans come out of the 46. Wilma is there for the tackle. Irvin runs it for about three on the counter play. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Hold the The Titans come out in a nickel pack. Rosen, he hits his receiver. Hood makes the stop before the first down is reached. He gets the pass to his receiver, who will come up just short of the first down. Never sure why a quarterback chooses that pass instead of one deeper downfield on that third down situation. Johnson will come in now to punt it away. Number 19 is back to receive this kick. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. One reason they've been able to stay in the game and they're tied right now is because of the success they've had on the ground on first down. And that's always a good thing because you don't want to keep getting stuffed on first down. Lynch busted through for a few tough yards. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. No stop, no stop that motor. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. They get it to the halfback. Justin Smith brings the ball carrier down for the fifth time. Gain of a handful. Third and one. Ball on the 43-yard line. Come on! Tampa! Big play, baby! The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Lock it up, Dina. Lock it up. Get it up! A little misdirection. But brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. They only needed a yard or so to convert, and that's just what he got.
First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here we go. Keep moving. Lynch, the lone back, receives the handle. Number 22 comes up to make the play. At the 48, Lynch battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Second and eight. Ball on the 48-yard line. Watch your eyes. Ford sends a man in motion for the counter play. Stiff arm keeps him in play. Great play in the backfield by Justin Smith. Good work by the defensive line there. They got off the ball, got penetration, shut off those running wings. He was looking for a hole, but the only thing he saw was a massive wall of defenders. Here's a third and long situation. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Dropping back. Fires this one deep. Almost picked off. Going long, but he couldn't find his man downfield, and now they'll face a fourth down. Back to return. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 14 yard line. Inside their own will Start the drive at the 14 yard line. First and 10. Only one man in the backfield. Up around. Nelson comes up to make the play. At the 24, Irvin has just gone over the century mark. We've got a good one going here as we head to the fourth quarter, and it's all tied up. Jacksonville, 14. Tennessee, 14. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Ball on their own 24. Everything you got, hold the look. The Titans line up in a 4-3. With a counter play. What a play here. When you anticipate the snap count perfectly, this is what'll happen. I mean, he was into the backfield on top of the quarterback before he could even get the handoff. Will, Will, Will. Drops back with the throw. Almost intercepted. Vilma had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. They'll go with the quarter defense. With the pass... Nearly intercepted. In the defender match. got in between the ball Came and the receiver the again. Receiver on the play. <laughs> Number 19 sets up, waiting for the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. They have a reputation for pulling out wins right at the end of the game. They have another chance to do that kind of thing right here with this drive. First so they ten. have first and ten Ball here. On the 45-yard line. Jacksonville using three linebackers. He tucks it away. 
They'll spot this one at the 43-yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Lynch battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ball on the 43-yard line. Play football. Back in the gun. Let's go. They ain't got nothing. Hand off to the tailback. Hamlin comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. Lynch takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third down fight. They have to get it to the 35-yard line for a new first. Jacksonville comes out in a dime package. Casey Hampton was the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. The defender got into the backfield, but he managed to escape and get the first down. That's what every good back needs, the ability to get past that first tackler, especially if he's in your backfield. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Only one man back. They give it to the halfback. Hamlin comes up to make the play at the 29-yard line. Lynch eclipses the 100-yard mark on that carry. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here we go, baby. Bring it up, bring it up. Jacksonville comes out of the quarter defense. Justin Smith found the ball carrier again. That's something we've seen plenty of in this game. And that game will give them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. We like to crack the rules. Hey, let's go. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hey, let's go, one team. Nothing. They don't get nothing. On the carry. Foot is there on the stop. The offensive line loves to run one, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Second and six. Ball on the 15-yard line. No stop, no stop, that motor. Watch the play. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. With the carry. Hampton is there Jackson for the tackle the at the 12. Jackson four, picks up some tough play. yards there. They're 12 Third yards two. away from the end zone. All on the, 12 yard line. All on the, the Jaguars <laughs> line up in a 4 3. Hands it off to the back. Foot. Him, but not before the first down is reached. That will keep the chains moving. Yeah, that makes two times in this drive they've given up the first down on third down. As a defensive coordinator, giving up those types of yards will drive you absolutely nuts. It's first and goal at the nine-yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Touchdown, Titans. A tremendous effort getting it into the end zone to grab the lead. Crosby comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Tennessee has a one touchdown lead now. The kick sails out of the end zone. Down by a touchdown, going on offense, time running out. 
It doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better than this. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The point after is good. John, another tight game that figures to go right down to the wire. Yeah, both of these teams have won some battles today. But the war has yet to be decided. One team will step up and make the play, and that's going to decide the winner. Number 15 is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is taken by number 19. This is just how the coach likes to play it. Keep it close until the end, then put something together with your last drive to come away with the win. Now it's up to the offense to close this one out. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Nice gain on that play after it looked like he was going to go out of bounds. Yeah, and he did come very, very close, but the official was right on top of it. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46-yard line. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Smith comes up to make the play at the 45-yard line. Eight-yard game. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ball on the 45-yard line. Three shoot. Play hard and fast, baby. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. It away. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Lynch couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Crossing it left, trying to convert for the first. Number 59 is there for the tackle at the 41-yard line. He's showing no signs of fatigue as he bulldozes for 125 yards. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Holland stops him at the 35. Jackson runs it through the middle of gain of about six. Second and four. Ball on the 35-yard line. I'm coming through, baby. Jackson lines up in a 4-3. Back breaking a free. Hamlin comes up to make the play at the 23-yard line. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. 
We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. Comes out in a 4-3. Holland is there on the stop with Jackson. Runs it through the middle of the game of about six. Ball on the 16-yard line. Eighth play of this drive. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Inside the red zone. Ball the 16-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back. They're going to spot this one. Win. The 16. Solid yard. Except for the Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. The defense is going to have to make sure they don't let them pick up the first if they want their team to get one last shot. It should be a run, so they better get ready to stop it. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Missed it. Sean Cody brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. They can't get the first, but are in position to kick the go-ahead field goal. So the officials are calling for time, and I think it's because they want to review. It says we're in the last two minutes. That's a call that came down from the booth. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. It was determined that the ball was improperly spotted. The ball will be respotted and resulting down and distance applied. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. Yeah, it's important to get the calls right at this point of the game. First They're 12 10. yards away from the end zone. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. On the 10, 10. Only one man back on the carry. Is there on the stop at the 10 yard line? Lynch battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pickup. They need 10 for a score. Jacksonville the calls a timeout. They have one left. Ten yards away from the end zone. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Hand off on the draw. Number 59 comes up to make the play. At the 10. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. And this is the 12th play of this drive. They're down inside the 10. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. Hands it off. This one will be spotted at the four-yard line. It's a half dozen tackles. John, they stopped short of the first, so we would expect to see the field goal kicker in here right now to try to break the tie, put them up by three. Absolutely. They're going to be content to get three points out of this drive. Big-time kick here. This will put them in front. That gives them the lead here in the final period. Tennessee is now up by three. Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. Squib kick short. This one is fielded by Harmon. 
Kick Jackson Burns is trying to guards. take the lead on this drive as they take over. The First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Chris Shoot! Get some slack going! Six! Pass play here on first down. Closing in. You got to give a lot of credit to this defensive line. They got a good push in the middle, and he was right there to bring him down. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Hill stopped the clock with the spike. Third and long. Ball on the 16-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Watch the outside. The Titans come out in a nickel pack. The wide receiver has it. Hood is there on the stop. It's a 22-yard line. He's trying to get them back to the line. Going for it on fourth. They'll need a big play here. Rose it. The pass ball's incomplete. Failing to get the first, they turn it over on downs with time running out here in the final quarter. Here I go. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Still taking it. This That's game reaches its conclusion the with the final is, score, with Tennessee 24, 24 Jackson 21. 21. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.